Yeah, European record. Hey, what did they get before Jacob Vegas? <laughs> So you had a crazy season. You've been running a lot of cross country and road races, hopping on the track. How is that? Is that a difficult thing to do? No, because in Spain we have the best circuit in the world about cross country. We have six gold level, two silver level cross country, and uh, it is a good income to money for us for about start money and. Uh, it was great. Uh, I ran, I think, seven cross country, uh, two road races, and uh, now two, uh, two like walking the tour. Then it's good because I don't know. It's making shape. Just you need to go carefully, like to don't go slow down your mileage before to race and nothing more. We do. We need Americans to come over to Spain and do cross country like you guys. Can you issue that challenge to the Americans? <laughs> yeah. Before uh, a few minutes ago, we was talking about here like. Uh, solo Americans they are coming to Europe to race and I think uh, I think Europe will have the best with about uh, cross and about the uh, going of tour and I think they are comfortable here. Come on guys, come Europe to race. <laughs> so obviously Kutir had a great year last year and it doesn't look like you just are laying down, you're, you're fighting back hard right now. Is that really motivating to see? Too much. <laughs> Too much because uh, Kutir last year was the, his explosion. And he ran in Karlsruhe 735. I think I was able to run 735 in Karlsruhe, but uh, race was not for me. Aregawi, Aska Pace Maker 227. And it was crazy because they was going to break the world record. I ran 736 completely alone doing the Pace Maker for the second group. And I was feeling really good. Then uh, here I was expecting to run 732, 73, but not 730, really good. Is it a rivalry? That's three laps, you were hurting. Yeah, 29 I think because I was looking at the words and uh, it's easy to, to, to do the mathematics because Jesse's 30, 1, 0, 0, 30, 1, 0, 0. And I was looking like 34, next lap, uh, 0, 3, next lap, 32. I said, well, I'm going one second faster every lap. And it was good, it was great. Where do you go from here? Where do you go next? Oh, the next is Birmingham. Uh, hopefully there, 1500 meters. And uh, uh, we will see if it can be the Spanish record, 1500 meters because it's a, it's a good time, but how you tell before, I am more motivated than ever because Mocha Tir pushed me uh, to get stronger and uh, I, I want to fight back and try to beat him in the 24th of February in the Spanish Championship. Is it a fierce rivalry? Like, we don't really know over here. Yeah, the, I, I think uh, right now is uh, he, was a, he was a good athlete before. But last year it was just crazy, broken the three Spanish record, and uh, really, really challenged me. I think uh, too many years ago I was uh, I was doing the double in the Spanish championship, but right now it's too hard with Katir, and I need to work harder for for try to beat him. Is all of Spanish running on the up and up right now? Is like the youth level and all the way up to the pros? Uh, uh, Estel Guerrero, she she showed here the, the Spanish uh, strength. I think uh, Federation is doing a great job with the new president. He's helping us to like uh, some budgets for training camps, for, for buying new stuff, like uh, anything you need, no? And uh, this is a good, this is a good thing. And I think the Spanish athletes are doing well. We we have uh, a good weather. Our economy of our country is not that much like the USA, but we are trying to do the best for for fight against the the old army. Is there anything 